this is an utter failure of international law. International law and the failure of international law to stop the terrorist credence in Israel. Those rabid monsters who believe they're above international law because they put Jewish supremacy, the belief that they can do anyone, anything to any non-Jew that they want. That's why there's mass rates of Palestinians because Jews, and, in, and including one of the ch uh, head chief rabbis of the IDF that said that they, he's okay, he was okay with using rape as a tool of war. I, I, I literally had to show you a receipt for that. I can't just say that without showing you guys a receipt. IDF, rabbi. You guys know, if you guys knew the channel, I'm all about receipts. I don't just say stuff and expect you guys to believe me. There is the chief rabbi who said that, yeah, we, we are Jewish people. We can rape wherever we want. In fact, it's a legitimate tool of war. He he was now the head chief of the IDF, <laughs> chief rabbi. Look, Israel Army, I should pick the, I should click the other link. Look, IDF tap tap chief rabbi who once seemed to permit wartime rape. Israeli army appoint chief rabbi who condones rape. You guys are surprised that these monsters are committing a genocide? Are you surprised that these monsters then projected their rape culture on the Palestinians? The New York Times was completely exposed by the gray zone and then Ryan Grimm tried to steal the reporting. <laughs> the Intercept tried to steal the gray zone's reporting on the New York Times false rape hoax unapologetically. <laughs> Aaron Mate called Ryan Grimm out and he was like, come on, man, stop being petty. What do you mean being petty? You literally plagiarizing the reporting of the gray zone and no one should ever fucking let that go. You guys know that uh, Clint, uh, Ken Klippenstein and Ryan Grimm are unapologetically with the help of the establishment stealing the work of the gray zone. <laughs> Max Blumenthal and Aaron Mate, who put their neck out, was smeared by the establishment for exposing the false rape hoax. And now the Intercept, after the, it was exposed, after the establishment gave them permission, now they want to come out, and now they want to steal their reporting. Ryan Grimm is a cancer, bro. <laughs> and then they're calling them out, the gray zone is calling them out for stealing their reporting in a disgusting way. And you want to know what Ryan Grimm and their supporters are doing? They are weaponizing civility politics. You guys see how civility politics is our enemy? They're saying, oh my God, why is gray zone being so mean? Why is gray zone starting all this drama for stealing our fucking reporting? Of course they're going to call you out. And they should. That's all these scumbags have. If you're lying on that shit. <laughs> Civility politics.